Lab 11, malware analysis for advanced dynamic analysis. In this lab, we will practice advanced dynamic analysis techniques, uh, disassemble malware, debug malware, and patch malware. And uh, on malware, with uh, these debuggers, x64 dbg, win dbg, immunity debugger, only debug. And uh, in this lab, we will use uh, x64 dbg. This lab is revised from this uh, same, same class simple exe hacking with only dbg so we will use all the simple samples from sam's class but we will not use only debug as we discussed during the lecture we will use this uh, x64 dbg so prerequisite now let's create a folder first and we are create holder create a folder called uh, lab uh, 11 now please make sure you have did, done this in lab 03 I'll open SSH and uh, with the protection disabled First, let's download the samples and the password is the samples. Then we can go there. When you open it with uh, 7 zip, you can see we have all the uh, samples here I'll just right click extract here paste the password right, you see all these uh, samples here now on the tool this bin tool the password is bin tool Again, you need to open your new tab, download like this. Extract here. The password has been told. Okay, that's a bin tool. I didn't see anything added right here. So it's inside tools actually here. Those are the tools. Not click any file from the pop up menu, find the CLC shell if you don't have this download and install 7-zip. I think uh, oh, you had uh, downloaded and installed is 7-zip, right? 64-bit. Otherwise, uh, you cannot uh, unzip it like uh, here, unzip with a 7-zip. Here you see there is a CLC shell. This CLC shell is used to calculate the CLC code and uh, secure hash algorithm code. You use this store, it will calculate all of them. Right? You will see the, all the popular CLC code. CLC32, CLC64, and SHA1, 256, and so on. You can find all the hash code for that file. You learn uh, using other tools to find the hash code of, of a file in our lab tool. So here we just use the integrated hash calculation tools provided by 7-zip. Then download this x64 dpg and extract it. Open your new tab. I think some of you have had downloaded this one during the lecture. So since I already downloaded it, so download this one, the zip. 
and saved in your lab 11 then we extract here okay now you see a release that x64 dpg is inside this release x64 and x32 because all our samples are 32 bit we will use this x32 scroll down you will see uh, that x32 dbg here we have several tasks task 1 with this uh, x64 dbg 32 bit practice dynamic analysis uh, techniques on the following samples and the addresses below may be different on your machine, so it's fine. This is the first subtask, analyzing sample party, party with the following steps. There are, I think there are 23 steps. Then the second one, change the program behavior through patching in this uh, x 4 dpg patching 01 to make it uh, accept any input and output the information we want. Then we have uh, three uh, tasks here, patch programs using the command line tools. First we will do them manually, then we will do them uh, automatically with command line tools. With command line tools, we have three sets of samples. The first set is three exe the second uh, set is 19 exe files the last set oops as this here is a typo and you click it actually is 256 uh, executable files so if you patch them manually it will take you lots of time so we will use the command line to do it uh, automatically now let's uh, go through this uh, tasks one by one. The first one final records popular hashes of poti.exe so you you can uh, um, I would like to open a tool open two windows here open a new windows for that uh, Party dot exe right click you see this one right? for any others it will ask you to find the hash code choose this stop and I'll record all these popular hash code of that file then create a local user here use this uh, command We will do it in command line in this uh, column prompt. Right click, run as administrator. Then you can create a user net user Biden type of password. Forward slash add and you will see the command completed successfully. You can use a net uh, user to show Biden and you see the information of Biden. Right? It says username and other information and uh, he is uh, active, never expires. And we will use this uh, user account to log into the open secure shell server run locally. Now run this uh, part.exe login local machine use the local user create about. So we uh, run this uh, part.exe double click. Here you see uh, the log host name just type local host. Because we have a secure shell server installed in lab 3. So we click open. Now you see the login as right? 
login as. We just create a user button. Login as button. Password. The password I just created. Now you see uh, it's, it's logging into this folder. Users button. If you type DIR, you can see all these uh, folders and the button's home folder. So this is not what we want to practice today. We want to modify the program. So we exit this login window and close button. Then start the x 64 dbg set to bit and load the party.exe. So it's inside the release, right? Release, set to open this uh, x 2 dbg. Double click, it's opened. Now use this one to load that party. Dot exe. Open it, and you see it a paused system break point reached. Here we have this uh, CPU window, the assembly disassembly window, and you can see the registers, uh, registers and uh, those system uh, modules and uh, dump memories and so on. As we have uh, discussed all these things in the lecture, so if you want to learn more, please check this online help uh, manual. Now, run this one and it will stop at its entry point. Currently, when, when it's loaded, it stopped at the system breakpoint. You can see the system library, NTDLL. Now you click this run, then it will stop at another breakpoint, entry breakpoint, right? party dot entry point at this uh, address. So you see this uh, entry point. Let's stop there. Now, find a login in this string, find all its uh, cross references. There are two, and set breakpoints at those uh, cross references. How do we find it? And right click here, and search for, here find the references, now here search for in the current module. So in the current module, the string references, it will show all the string, strings here. And you can see uh, there are many of them, as we use uh, the static analysis tool to find the strings. Type login as here you see there are two of them. Now you can click this this tool and then right click toggle breakpoint. You see it become uh, red means a uh, breakpoint is uh, set. Or you click this uh, button. Oops, this button is just used for us to show. To show those breakpoints, break go back to that uh, references here. We set up one breakpoints, and in these breakpoints, you see the list, right? one of them. 3261A is uh, this one. 3261A. Now the second one, right click and uh, toggle breakpoint. Both became red, which means now we have two breakpoints. Now you check these breakpoints. You see we have two breakpoints here. Now we can go back and uh, run this program. It will stop at that uh, login window. Set points at those cross references. Then continue running this uh, party. 
Yeah, we continue around it. So this one run. It's running. The area loaded. And you see this uh, party window configuration window pops up. Now here we type localhost and I click open. Not the open but here we didn't see that login because we stopped at this uh, breakpoint and you see there's a login over there, login as, which means this one 3D AEC is the place we will show this login as. We will need to uh, step through this instruction, it will show this login as, but we will not do that. We want to modify this login as message. How could we do that? We right click it, then in this uh, we will choose uh, assemble to see the assemble uh, language. Right? You see this uh, is a uh, this command is a push, it's a uh, disassembled. Now, this one is uh, the address of that login as string or the address of this error. If we want to start at O, then we can uh, increment this address by 1. For example, change it to 18E. Currently, it's uh, 18F. Right? E then to F, the hexadecimal number. So we change it to F, which means it will move to O. You can use a uh, hex number calculator to see if you want to move to G or move to I to N, how much you need to change. Currently we only want to move to O, which means that L will be uh, removed. Here I change it to F. Then please pay attention to here this part and click OK. Did you see it? It changed it to uh, that L is removed. Right? We only see this uh, OG Ogin S and we click here cancel it. Uh, instruct pointer is still here. Now we can uh, click step over. Then step over again and uh, let's uh, click run to see what we will have. Here you see all gen S, right? It says network error software cost connection about just click OK. Here you see uh, all gen S is inactive. So we we modified the message here, right? The login message turn it into uh, all gen S. Now we want to modify this uh, program permanently. How could we do that? Here we come to uh, origin S now. We come to this place. We want to patch it manually. We can right click. Again, just right click uh, the line. In this, uh, we choose patch. Actually, you can cl click any place, choose patch because we just modified one, right? You see, we modified one place, change 8E to 8F. So we can, uh, we confirm this one and uh, click patch file. It says your patches overlap with the relocation regions. This can cause your code to become corrupted when you load the patch executable. Do, do you want to continue? Yes. Now we save that uh, patched program. We call it party mod.exe, which means uh, we, we modified it or pat, uh, patch it, or we call it pat. Let's see what, what the name you are required to call it. Here we call it uh, party mod. modify right? 
and save it. When patch is applied, click OK, and here close it. Now we can stop this uh, debugging. Close. Now we uh, come to this step. I think we come to. Uh, we just done this one, right? Save it as uh, partymodi.exe. Then we come to this step. Run this uh, modified party. So we just save it here. This is a party mod. Double click. Here type uh, localhost. Click open. Now you see here it becomes origin s, right? Origin s. Again, we can use that. Uh, Python user account, we just created the password. Do you see it, it work as a expected as before, right? Just uh, modified uh, one bat that uh, watching us. Now we exit this uh, modified program. Next, we want to uh, change this uh, party mod, change this origin as to uh, another message. We will change it to welcome. So you may need to follow these steps and take a screenshot. I will demonstrate uh, directly in this uh, Excel to DBG. Here I will load it. This is a party mod.exe. Stop at the system breakpoint, then click run. It will stop at its entry point. Now we go to references, close it because we want to find a new references. Right here, you see it's still party.exe. Close it, go to the CPU, right click, right click any place, and search for. Search for string references here. Again, we want to find the login as. Now, this time we said origin as. You see, one is origin as, the other one is login as. So, we only need to set breakpoint and this is origin as. So, right click and uh, toggle breakpoint. Then go back to CPU tab. Can run it. Click uh, run. Here you see this uh, pop up. Type localhost. Click open. Okay, it's uh, stopped. Add this origin as right. Now we want to modify this origin as as to another uh, word. Right click. Here you see the binary we have added. Right? We can also follow in dump to that address, to the selected address. But we want to go to this place here. Go to this uh, data address, which point to this origin as. It's 8fb18f. So we right click here, follow in dump to this address. Click. Now you come here in this uh, dumper area. You see that origin S, right? So now you use your mouse, select this origin S, and then right click. In this uh, binary, we use uh, edit. Here you see this origin S. Totally, how many characters do we have? We have uh, seven characters, right? Origin is four character empty space plus uh, s. Total we have seven characters. Then let's type seven characters. Type uh, welcome. Welcome. Welcome is also seven characters. Click OK. Pay attention here. Now it becomes welcome. So we can uh, click this uh, one. Check here, it becomes welcome. Right? It becomes welcome. 
it looks nice. Okay, now we can uh, right click any place and uh, choose a patch. Here you see the modification we modified seven bytes. Now click patch file and save it as a uh, uh, what's the name? Welcome. We save it as partyware.exe. And save it. Click OK and close it. Stop it. Yeah. Close. This is debugging. Now we run it. Run this party where.exe. Double click. Here type a local host. Here open. You see welcome show up, right? Type the username, Biden password. Did you see it? Everything worked as worked. So type exit. Okay, this is how we uh, patch uh, program in a debugger. Now we want to compare the difference between these three programs: this party.exe, partymod.exe, and a Partyware.exe. We know uh, here now we are at this step. Find the binary difference between them using command FC. FC means file compare. File compare. Then finally record the popular hashes of these two modified party and pay attention to their dramatic difference from the original one. So this is how do you find your program is infected by a virus. If you found your program's uh, hash code is different from its origin original hash code, means it's, it may be it, it must be modified by other programs, mainly by viruses, which means your computer is uh, compromised. Okay, now let's uh, find the difference. Here, find the popular hash code. You can do it by yourself, right? as we did uh, in previous steps. You right click, choose this CLC show and this store, find this hash code. You need to compare this hash code against the hash code of the original party.exe in your report. Now I want to uh, use FC to compare them. How could I do that? I will come to this uh, folder, copy it, Ctrl C, CD, paste here. Now we can use DIR party store then you see all these uh, party programs first we will compare party with a party mod we use fc means file compare for all the commands here i just show you uh, how to use it and uh, you will learn them systematically in another course ITS 372 b means uh, compare them as binary file I compare party.exe with party mod.exe uh, mod.exe press enter you see the difference at this location just one byte is different the old one is 8e the new one is 8f right? this is what we uh, modified but please pay attention to this uh, address this is the offset in the binary file not the address in the memory. When we debug the program in the debugger, those addresses are the memory address. Here is the binary file, the offset in the binary file. We can uh, open it in uh, any binary editor, for example, uh, uh, our hex editor. 
you can see this uh, offset. Let me show you uh, that hex editor. HXD opens and uh, open this uh, level 11 party.exe. Here you see uh, the left side, so it's called offset, show in hexadecimal. Right? The right side is a program and uh, decoded as a text. If you want to find that uh, location here, this location, 2CEED, here you can go to 2CEED and then search, go to hex offset from the beginning. We type 2CEED, click OK. Now you check that 2CEED here, did you see it? 2CEE0 followed by this column 0D, right? So 2CEED is 8E. This is the, the value, at the byte value at this offset in the old party.exe. In this party mod.exe, here is modified to 8F. So this is how the program is modified. So if you want to patch program, you know what you're doing, you can use this hex editor to modify it and save it. And we patch it in, the, in a debugger. Right? Actually, you can use any hex editor to complete the same job. Now the other one, the party.exe and the partyware.exe can compare it here. Partyware. Now we you will see uh, there are how many bytes? Three, four, here eight. Right? Totally we have eight bytes they are modified. Because we modi modified from that party model, and you see this 8E8F, right? This one is modified. Then we modified seven characters that origin as modified to be welcome. And this are the ask code of those characters. Okay, we complete task one. Task two, check program behavior through patching in this x64 dbg patch in this 000.x to make the accept any input for these steps. First, finally record the popular hash. This one you done by yourself. Run and play with this one. Can you guess the right launch code? So currently we can close this uh, x32 dbg. We don't use it anymore. In this command window, we type 000.exe. But press enter. It asks you to type a uh, launch code. Right? So let's guess it. For example, launch code 1. Oops, I got a message. What an embarrass. I think my dog figured this out before you. Try another one. Try a letter, A. Oops, I still cannot get it. So now, what could we do? Okay, we examine it with the debugger to find how it works. Oops, I, I close it. Let's uh, run it again. Now let's uh, load this uh, 000.exe open it first it uh, stopped at the system breakpoint NTD area click run it will stop at the entry point now you see here launch codes right? see a launch code and here you, you can see uh, some other interesting stuff Wow, you got it. Here is the result. 
I think my dog figured this out before you. So when you check the program, there is a jump, jump to this place. And another, if it uh, does not jump, it will come to here, right? At this place, launch calls. We are asked to, uh, it shows this message, this puts, it will put this launch code in the terminal window. And this scan, for those children who are familiar with us, see, you will know, you will know what the purpose of these functions. This scan is used to uh, get the user's input. Once it gets that input, and it will compare, it will call another function, this function, here it call function, that function will do, uh, do some job. After that, it will compare the value in the EAX with some value at this address. So for advanced uh, course, you will learn the assembly language. In this course, we only want to try brute force to modify the program so it can show this message. So how could we modify it? Here it jump to JNE, it will jump to this uh, output, right? Let's modify this uh, modify this instruction. So we right click, modify it to uh, just do nothing. Do nothing is a uh, NOP, N-O-P, means do nothing. So we follow, we assemble it. Right, you see this is JNE. So we can choose this one, fill with knobs. Click, fill with knobs. Click OK. And click cancel here. But we didn't see that it changed to knobs. So we may need to choose more, one more instruction. We choose two instructions and right click it. Assemble fill with knobs. Click OK. Now how about we modify it directly? Patch uh, as first assemble. Change it to knob. Right? We change it to knob. And I click uh, OK. We also choose this uh, fill with knobs if there are some uh, holes. Now you see two knob. I uh, type only one knob, knob but that uh, instruction, it need, uh, it need two bytes. That's why the other byte is also filled with a knob. We got two knob here. Then the program, it will run through without that jump. It will show this one. We got it. No matter what we type the input, right? no matter what the input it is. So let's uh, cancel here. Now we change those two to knob. Actually, we can uh, run it to have a look. Right? Run it. And we check here. Launch code, we type 0. Press Enter. Type, uh, oops, it's uh, exit, ex exited. And but you, uh, because it's not show up here, you, when we uh, run it, it will disappear quickly. So let's uh, do it again. Now we can do it uh, quickly. Here from this place, this JNE, we assemble with the knob. Before we change it to knob, you check here. It, it has two bytes, right? Seven file and one E. We type only one knob. The other byte, it will be filled the knob. We chose this one, fill with knobs. Click OK, now it will replace with two knobs. Here click cancel, we right click, patch it, choose patch. Here you see that of two bytes is modified. 75 is modified to 90, one is modified to uh, 90. We patch this file and we quit 0, 0, 0, 0, 
but uh, add uh, M. M means modified. Right? M modified. Save it. And close our uh, X32 DBG. I think we will not use it. Okay, now we can run that modified program m.exe press enter launch code at type 0 and you see it says well you got it here is the result j no matter what I type it what the input I, I give it I always get the same result this means a brute force patch which means we don't need to understand the logical inside the program Okay, and I tested the output answer with any input, right? Output answer with any input. Use FC to compare the original file and the modified file. Oops, the modified file is saved to be as a, with a X, not M. Here. Name X also means modified. Now use FC to compare it. You know how to do it. With FC, compare as binary file. Right? 0000.exe. Now you will see that these two offset. Serving file is uh, modified to 90. 1E is modified to 90. This is what we did in that debugger. Next, use this bin diff to compare these two files, find the offset of the modified bytes. The first offset is 43, the second offset is 43B. That we bin diff value test is in these tools. Here you see in these tools that is a bin diff. Now we are inside this folder, lab 11. How could we call a tool inside a tools folder? We create like this, just type tools, then type the program name, we bin diff. We want to compare this uh, 00.exe and 000x.exe. Press enter. Now, if we want to show the difference, return next difference, we press return here. Did you see it? In this uh, original file, seven file one e in this uh, modified file is modified to 9090. But how do you find the offset? So what is 430, then you need to count to this place. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We know 10 in hexadecimal is A, right? Hexadecimal number is A. So this place, 7 file is 43A. 1B is, is offset is 43B. So we found the offset of the modified bytes. We can see it clearly here. Here type Q to quit. Q quit. Here we you see that is 43A, 43B offset. Now, you use bin tool to patch this uh, file and save the patched file as 000y.exe. Then find the CLC show hash of these two modified uh, files. So you can uh, do this one by yourself. They should uh, be identical. Now let's uh, have a look. The bin tool is also under that tools folder. Bin tool 32.exe. How do we use this tool? Press enter. Here you see this bin tool. How do we use it? Use it. Use it interactively. Let use it like this. Bin tool followed by the sample name, file name. We'll do it automatically. We can 
use this way to search a hex string in that file and so on. So you can see we can view so many uh, bytes from this offset in this file or we can replace the hex string replace the hex string at this offset with this replacement and save it to the output file name. We can also search and replace some strings. We search this string then replace those uh, search result with this replace hex string. It may uh, have several occurrence, right? And which occurrence uh, you want to replace, then save to our output file. Okay, now we firstly try this interactive uh, mode. We run bin tour. Oops, it's not bin tour, it's uh, tours bin tour exe then type this 000.exe press enter here you see it says enter commands or type q to quit here the command if we want to view number uh, bytes from this offset we use this command we offset so we use we offset that offset 43a we want to uh, find two bytes from there type 2 right two bytes and you see that two bytes is serving file 1e e. so this is nice now we can use this all to replace it so all offset offset is uh, 43a and the new byte sequence please pay attention each byte is it has two hex digits 90 90 right? replace it press enter it says uh, replace two bytes from that offset with 90 90. now we can save this file by use s saved as uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, y exe press enter and it says save the modifier to that place so then we type Q to quit Q quit okay it says that uh, there is a Y is also patch let's run it to have a look launch your code type any code Press enter you see it says or oh, you got it here is the result Actually, if you want to check whether this uh, 00x.exe and 000y.exe, whether they are the same, one is uh, patched with that uh, x 2 debug, the second one is patched with this bin tool. Right? We only modified uh, two bytes with the same 9090, so, which means these two patch files should be the same. Right? You see it, no differences. Okay, we complete this one. Now, for task three, patch programs using command line tools that have been tools. Here you need to play with those exe files, try at least two. First one is in these three exes. So you can have a look inside those three exes. There are three exe over there. So we can uh, have a look to play with them. I would like to use DLR to show those files. Do you see those three files? And you can see they all have the same size, 2 kilobytes. If you want to run it, 3exe, the first one, 0, 0, 0, 3exe, press enter launch code 3 I think my dog figured out this uh, before you it looks like this one is uh, what is identical to what we just uh, complete right how could we know it's identical you can use the FC compare zero, zero, this one with the one under this uh, 3exe folder zero, 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 three exe. you see no difference encountered so they are the same 
Now for the other two, for example, zero 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 a. Press enter number. Let's take type a number for. Are you just guessing? Uh, yes, I am just guessing. So how about the other one? You just play uh, by yourself and guess by yourself to see whether you can get it. Now, second uh, step, patch the exe file. Now, patch those exe file, then run the patch exe file and collect the output. It says each output is a single character from those exe file. Put them in alphabetical order of the exe file name. Here, for example, the first one, we, well, after we patch it, we, we got a J, right? So let's uh, try patch it. So how about we, uh, first we want to find whether that is uh, 7501E. We want to replace the 7501E with the 9090, right? 7501E. So we can use the bin tool to complete the job. Uh, tools. Tour, set to you who you want to search something 3x 3 ex e 0 0 0 a dot ex e what do we want to search we want to search 7 file 1 e right 7 file 1 e press under and it says one occurrence found. And it's at offset here, 431, uh, 43A. This is nice. It's, uh, it's uh, offset is identical to the first one. Now, how about the other uh, EXE? The other one is A1. A1. Press enter. You also see only one occurrence found, and it's also at the place 43. So now this is nice, we can use this bin to, uh, to replace it. Right? How could we do that? With the syntax, it says here this is bin to, uh, if we want to replace something, bin to a file name, search hex string, replace hex string, which occurrence, if the occurrence we just type zero, all the occurrences will be replaced. So we can uh, run it like this. File name 3ex is we want to modify the second one. Right? And the string we want to search is uh, 7 file one e We want to replace it by 9090. And which occurrence? The first occurrence. We have only one occurrence, right? Just type one. Or you type zero. Type zero, if there are many occurrences, all of them will be replaced. Here we have only one occurrence, so zero and one, it will be the same. Then the output file name, we call it, we also save it under three uh, exes and call it zero, 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 a x dot exe and press enter. Here it says, do you see it? One occurrence found and replaced with 9090 and saved to this file. Okay, now we can run that one. Before we run, we can modify all three, right? All the three files under this is 3exe folder. Zero. Here, zero. Press enter, you also see we replace it. Then the last one, the last one file name is A1. A1 or 1A. It's name called A1. So, and you also see those two replaced file, modified files are saved there. So here, the last one is A1. Now we create a1x.exe.
press enter and you see it's also uh, patched okay now they are all here we want to run those three programs we can run them manually how could we run them uh, all automatically that was would save us lots of time right? okay I will show you a way we can use a for loop for every file inside a folder 3 exe and their name we have they all ended with x for the exe now for each of those files we want to do something we can use echo output any number for example one two three to those files if you don't understand this command it does is uh, it's fine we will learn them systematically in ITS 372 here you just uh, learn how to use it then a pipeline to each file press an F okay now I press enter did you see it here is the first one you get a J the second one you get a column the last one you get this symbol so the three symbol is J colon left uh, square brackets so we complete this uh, first one those three letters you need to put it explicitly say J colon and uh, left square brackets in the order of the file name here right here we in the order of the file name this file name they are in, they are increasing uh, in alphabetical order so that's why you need to put as j colon uh, j colon left square brackets now question two patch 90 exe files in the folder easy and each of them output a single character so you need to complete the similar steps again I will show you use this for loop to do them quickly instead of uh, do it one by one so first we use a for loop for each file in that easy folder so we need a parenthesis here and those files star.exe and do we just run it here we first run it to have a look you can play with them actually you are asked only to play with two of them here I will play all of them to, to let you have a look so I want to play automatically so I use an echo for example just one two three to send a input to those uh, samples press enter now you see uh, we have 90 exe from this 0000100a 3b 3d and so on and you see the result are you just guessing are you just guessing incorrect 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 none of them are correct right? now it's fine now we want to use that uh, bin tool to see whether they all contains just a single uh, jump command a jump instruction we use the tools bin tool 32.exe we want to search each file for that those occurrence the occurrence is a seven five one e right we want to search seven five one e when you press enter here you see one occurrence at this uh, offset one occurrence at this offset they all at the same 
offset and all contains just one occurrence. Right? Do you see it? One occurrence offset, one occurrence offset. I didn't see anything uh, different. So they all had the same offset. You can uh, check it carefully to see whether they are all the same here for 3A. Now I want to patch them all. I want to patch them all with this uh, bin tool. We want to search it and replace it with 9090 and replace the first occurrence as I said with zero, all occurrence will be replaced. So if zero is okay because we have only one occurrence. Then uh, saved as Now this uh, uh, has a trick. If you want to know what the trick means, uh, you will learn in IDS 372. Here it means just take the file name without the extension. So we add uh, x at the end of the file name, then followed by the exe. So this is how do we uh, search a hex string, this file replace with this string, or its occurrence, and save the output as this file name, new file name. Press enter. And you see uh, one occurrence found and replaced with 1990. You can check all the output to make sure there is no error. Every file is uh, replaced correctly. Right here, replaced and add that offset. Now I want to run them again to see the output. Here is how do we run them. But this time we want to run with all those files ended with those file names in the with X, right? Store X dot exe. These files are modified or patched files. So now we press uh, enter. Here you check the result. Echo. No, I, I get nothing. So let's have a look. Is that easy? Yeah, because I didn't save it in that easy folder. My bad. I, I saved uh, all here. So I need to do it again to save it in the easy folder. Did you see it? I didn't save it in the easy folder. I didn't uh, prefix with this easy. So I need to prefix with the easy. Easy folder like this. Then we press uh, enter. Okay, they are all replaced and saved. Now I run it in this case. Right? Press enter. Okay, you see all the output. That's one ladder. You will need to collect all the ladder. Follow this order. And we get everything. Press uh, Right, do you see it? We get all, all this uh, J, A, so you need to uh, collect all these single letters. Here, where am I? Okay. Just press enter. We will see all these things. So totally we have uh, 90 of them. Now, for that 256, here, 256 EXEs, I will correct this uh, typo later. Again, you can use the same way to complete, right? You check this 256 EXEs, here you see all these EXEs. 
256. Okay, let's. Uh, you play with at least two. You can play with by yourself. Before I patch it, I would like to search that pattern. Seven five one e. So I can use this uh, command to search it. Seven five one e to search it. This time we want to. Uh, Patch what files under this folder? Two file six, exe, uh, s right? Yes, two file six exe is. You will want to uh, search it. Play with them. You play by yourself. Just play with two of them. Then take a screenshot, put in your report. Here I want to. Uh, Search this seven five one e. Okay, you see one occurrence found, but this time they are different address, at a different offset, huh? at a different offset. Offset. You can go through the output. You will see every file of them just one occurrence. You didn't see two or more occurrences. Just one occurrence. When you go through all these 256 files, now in this case is a uh, is a uh, hard to uh, find. It. I will show you how to save all these uh, results to a file. Here we can do it like this. If you want to save all these uh, all the results in a single file. You can use this uh, command. This means append to a uh, two file. Give it a name. Two file six. Exes search result. Dot txt. Like this. And press enter. Then the what on? You can go to that uh, folder. Here, please pay attention. If I didn't save it under that uh, two file six exes, I saved it just under my uh, lab eleven. Here you can see under my lab eleven. You see that. Uh, oops, two file six exe. Oops, I need to go to lab eleven. Lab eleven. Here, two file six ex is search result. Right? And open it to see all the result here. These are all the result. You can use Control F to see. Find the next, 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 next to check whether there is only one occurrence or more. That is a quick way. You open with another. Editor, the Visual Studio Code. If you didn't install it, you can install it, or you just comment it uh, or look slow manually. If you use other text editor, it can show you the number of occurrence here. For example, if I want to find this one, I can use Ctrl F, and you see the 256. Right? There's one occurrence found. This is just your code. I close it, and you see they may have a different uh, offset. This is a four three a. This is a six three four two three seven, and so on. Now we want to uh, patch them. Here I want to patch them with ninety ninety. Replace all occurrence and save it into a file name. Please remember we, we, we need to save it under this folder. 256 exe and with this uh, tilde symbol and F. 
n r x ต่อ e x c right here we use this bin tool to search every file for this seven uh, file one year replaced with 1990 all accounts are replaced and saved and this file again you can save the output save the this screen output to a text file here you can say two file six uh, replacement replacement or patches or anything you want dot txt then press enter okay they're all saved and you can check the result here replacement did you see it found one occurrence and it's replaced right? one occurrence and replaced Okay, now we want to play with them here. Collect all those uh, single characters from each patch of exe file output. Put them in alphabetical order of the exe file names. Totally there are 200 file 6 characters. So it may take you some time if you, you collect them manually. If you know how to write program to process them, that's good for you. Now I want to play with them. How do I do it? We use a uh, echo to send any input from the one to three. Send to each file. Then again, we want to save it. Huh? Save it. This time, we create results. Two file six. X is or patches results. Patches dot uh, patches results dot text. We run all those files again. We want to run those patch files, right? So those patch files we add an X. Here you see it. Add an X at the end of the file name. So we need a put an X here. Otherwise, you you may run those uh, original files, not the patched files. So we press Enter. The last one it looks a need to wait a little bit. This uh one eight x dot exe. Or you press under It looks like this last file. It paused a while. Okay, I press under it uh, still there. It's okay. Now we can check the patch results. Well, see the patch results. Can I open it? And you see all the results in those uh, parentheses. So you need to collect all these uh, single letter. Collect all of them in the parentheses. Here you have empty space. If you know how to extract the parentheses, using a program, then you can do it uh, quickly. Otherwise, you just uh, copy the single character from this output and put in your report. Okay. 
Okay, the last one in the looks, the last program. It's still uh, running. You may press enter or, or wait until uh, all the results you get you you got. No, you see it increased to a uh, three kilobyte, and you see this number, right? Press enter or wait until it uh, complete. Okay, I think. Uh, we complete all this stuff. There are two optional projects you may go there to help fun. For example, hacking mines sweeper with all the debug. In all our uh, tasks we just complete, we only need to modify one place, right? In this uh, hacking mine sweeper with only debug, you may need to modify uh, several places. In the real world, if you want to patch a file to behave as uh, expected, you may need to modify a uh, patch several places.